But sometimes, if you look at the question, it practically tells you what to do. Right? This one, the lamp is rated at 7.2 volts, 0 0.7 amps. So that's what it's told you. And then it says, calculate the resistance. If you go to your data booklet, you'll get the I equals V over R formula. The current is the voltage divided by the resistance. We actually need the resistance here. So the R jumps across up to the top. So R equals V divided by I. So the V is 7.2 and the I is 0 0.7. Okay, not too hard at all. This question is asking for a diode to protect the transistor. The diode protects the transistor from back EMF. The back EMF is generated by the relay. This resistor here is protecting the base of the transistor from excessive current flowing down here. So the diode protects the transistor from back EMF and this base resistor, especially if that's a variable resistor, that variable could be adjusted down to zero ohms so that would mean if there's that resistor wasn't there, that would just be 6 volts straight onto the base. And that could blow the transistor. So the diode protects the transistor from back EMF. This base resistor protects the transistor from large input currents. Now, this question's asking to explain how the circuit works. Okay. So here we have the sensor. Okay. Now this sensor is a light-dependent resistor. So when the light goes up, the resistance goes down. That there is the voltage out of this potential divider. The V out, the voltage at the bottom here is the exciting one, that's the voltage that gets passed on to the next component. So as the light level went up, the resistance went down, V out will go down as well. The V out is following the resistance of the sensor in this one. Okay, so in the light, V out is small, the other way to think of it, in the dark, V out is big. So in the dark, the transistor will switch on. Right. When the transistor's on, these three LEDs, which are wired in parallel, they will switch on. The variable resistor lets you adjust the sensitivity, so you can change the light level that the LEDs come on. Okay. The LEDs are in parallel. The advantage of that, if that one fails, then these two will still work. The LEDs are more efficient than the regular incandescent bulbs. Okay. They last longer, they're more robust as well. So this one's in a bicycle lamp. This question is asking to calculate the resistance of the LDR. Now, so if we look at what we're told first of all, we know that's 0 0.7 volts. We know the supply is 6 volts. So of the 6, we've used 0.7 here, so that must be 5.3 volts. Okay. 0.7 plus 5.3 equals the supply. Now that we know that's 5.3, up at the top here, we know the voltage and the resistance, so we can calculate the current. And that'll be in milliamps, because that's in kiloohms. If the resistance is in ohms, the answer's in amps. If it's in kiloohms, the answer's in milliamps. Okay, now. So R equals V upon I, so I have I is not 0 0.964 and V is 0 0.7. So R equals 0 0.726K. This circuit is asking you to find the total resistance. Now, there's two resistors, 100 ohms and 300 ohms. These two are in parallel. Okay? There's a, if you imagine the current 
coming out here, going through the switch when it's closed. When it gets to that node, the current has a choice, it can go that way or it can go that way. Okay, so these are in parallel. So two ways of doing it. You can do R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2. Make sure you put brackets around that bit when you're doing it in the calculator. So that's 100 times 300 over 100 plus 300. So that's 30,000 over 400, and that gives an answer of 75 ohms. Okay. Now, watch the answers. The smallest resistor is 100 ohms. With an answer of 75, that's smaller than the smallest resistance, okay, that suggests that the answer might be right. Okay. The other way to do it, use your calculator, 100 x to minus 1 plus 300 x to minus 1 equals, and then x to minus 1 again, and then equals. That's using the 1 over RT equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, however many there are. Okay. The question goes on to ask for a ammeter to be drawn and indicate with an X to measure the current through the solenoid. Right, to measure the current through the solenoid, you can put an X anywhere in this wire here, and the symbol for an ammeter, of course, is an E. Okay. 